This is the same lesson, the second part of 38.1. What if we had Mary, Joe, and Bob, and we said, well, what if it was a baking contest, like I mentioned in the previous uh, video? What if, it, what if it was a baking contest, and each of them had multiple entries? Uh, and so they, any one of them could win all three spots. Well, if I looked at that, I'd say, well, I still have only three, but it doesn't take one of the other ones out. This is allowing for repetition. When I allow for repetition, I say, well, there's three in this box, and three still in that box, and three in that box, and so this one has a value of 27. There are 27 different ways if I allow for repetition. So to contrast the two, if I don't allow for repetition, I only had six different ways that they could be arranged. But if I allow for repetition, I end up with 27 different ways that they can be arranged. So the difference between the, the two, one of them ends up as a permutation uh, and the other one does not. One of the, the fundamental counting principles says if I allow for repetition, then I, uh, then I end up with a lot bigger number or a lot larger way that they can be arranged. If I don't allow for repetition, then I end up counting down as I go, uh, much like a factorial would.